Hello and welcome to Sue Finley Designs. Today's video is the second in a series of mixed media and resin videos where I explore different mediums in resin to create texture and depth. So today's video is how I've created this quick and simple texture piece using homemade texture paste, which I'll show you how I did that, and resin. It's a real simple piece that will definitely spark your imagination to create some of your own interesting and unique pieces. So without further ado, let's get into how we created this piece. Now I'm not going to reinvent the wheel here. There's lots of YouTube videos out there showing you how to make your own texture paste. So this is um, based on those videos I've seen myself. I couldn't tell you where I got the information from because there's that many of them, but you'll get the general idea. So for this I'm using um, one part PVA glue. Now normally I would use um, equal parts of acrylic paint but I didn't actually have a lot of white acrylic paint left so I just used what I did have. Now I could have added some Floetrol to that um, but I just thought well we'll just see how we get on with that and basically what I'm doing is I'm just adding the talcum powder as I go and making sure that that's thoroughly mixed because I don't want to add too much and end up lumpy so if you add it in stages you can gauge how it's coming along and also you can keep adding until you get at the thickness that you want. Now for this piece I want the texture to be fairly thick so that it doesn't flatten and that it stands proud off the board so I'll just keep adding the talcum powder till um, I'm happy with that and what I do is I'll just hold it uh, up and allow it to drip in just to see how quickly the the paste flows. Now if you don't have talcum powder to hand at home you can actually buy it um, from the shops and it's really inexpensive. However you can also use other powders like in the past I've used um, tile, tile grout. Now that is um, quite nice to use as well. It gives a grainy texture. What instead of just using the tile grout with just water, I will add some PVA glue to that as well, so it just gives it more substance to stick to the board. But um, yes, yeah, so you can experiment with different things, and I will do other video tutorials using various mediums like tile grout, um, wall filler, and that kind of thing. So once you're happy with the thickness of your texture paste we can now move into applying to the board now I'm just using a spatula that I've got to hand but you can use a knife or uh, your fingers or whatever it is that you want to do use to apply the texture and I'm not worrying about it being perfect because what I want is I want lots of depth and I want lots of ridges and things so I'm just slapping it on there. You can always go back later and tidy it up if you want but for this um, tutorial it's fine as it is so just stick it on there and away you go. Now you do have quite a, a while working time with this before it starts drying but once it does start drying it does actually dry fairly quickly. So once you have all that applied on there, we just now set it aside to dry. And as you can see, this has been left overnight and it's cracked quite a bit. Now I'm not too worried about that because I'm quite happy to have the cracks as part of the texture. But I believe that if you add some Floetrol or um, maybe even more of the acrylic paint, that that would prevent some of the cracking. You can also cover it with um, a plastic bag to slow the drying process down which would also reduce the cracking. So what I'm doing here now is I'm actually going to paint the piece and it's going to be a mixture of PVA glue, a little bit of Floetrol and a little bit of aged copper paint because what I want is we're going to have a very very thin layer of resin on top of this to 
so that we've still got the detail of the texture we don't want it to be too thick because otherwise what's the point in having the texture in there if you're just going to cover the whole thing in resin so so i'm just putting a base color on there which is it's got elements of the color that we're going to be finished with so i'm just going over here i'm just using um a sponge brush just because it's easy to get in the cracks and it covers quite a large area and i'll give this two coats just to make sure that it's it's fully coated Now you can't see in here but this is actually quite sparkly and because it's mixed with the PVA glue and the Floetrol it's more like a wash but that's fine because I still want this, the texture to shine through. I don't want it to be too um, covered in paint because this is going to be all part of the design. So once that's all coated and you're happy with that, I would leave that then to dry overnight, ready for resin in tomorrow. So as you can see, there's like a nice gold colour on this. And for this, I'm just, I've just mixed some black paste in with the resin and I'm just coating this all over, making sure that it's all coated. And then using paper towel, I'm now going to wipe it all off. And the reason for this is, is I want the black to fall into the cracks and gather in the edges and things like that so that it gives it depth rather than just pour the colour over the top. So we'll just go over this and take the majority of the resin off. For the next layer I've just mixed some sparkle pigment in with the resin and we're just going to pour this over the top and again spread it all around and we're actually going to let this run off so I'm going to pour this off into a mold just out the way and just to get the majority of it off because again I just want a thin layer on there so we can see the detail and the texture behind. So there we have it a quick and simple texture and resin piece um, as you can see it's quite effective you can see the cracks and everything in the background so if you like this idea and would like to see more from the Mixed Media and Resin series, then please subscribe to my Patreon account, details of which can be found in the description. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it gives you inspiration to create your own texture pieces. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up or better still subscribe to my channel. So until next time, happy crafting. Thank you. Goodbye.